Hello everyone! Hey guys! And welcome to what is clearly a plaid enveloped episode <laughs> of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Yes, you are looking especially lovely in a plaid well, shirt today. It's very cold, so it's, 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 it's plaid season. It is indeed winter. Winter has befallen us here in Texas right now. It's been, uh, it's been particularly chilly. Well, we hope that you guys are having a great time, great week, wherever you are. It's our Tuesday night premiere. Yes. Thank you for being here with us and chatting if you are watching this with us as a premiere. What that means is that if you see it the minute that the premiere airs, you can be in live chat with us and talk to us and talk to the other people that are here with, the, with us watching. It's always a lot of fun. So much fun. Always, it's really, really fun. Um, before we get to telling you about today's pour, I want to tell you about Sunday's live episode. Wow. So this Sunday, we're going to do a live at 11 o'clock central and that episode, in that episode, we're going to pour two of our pours, just like normal. Yes. But whilst the episode airs, anyone that gives a super chat or a super sticker will have their name entered into a raffle, and we will have the opportunity to win this piece. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. It's another piece, just like the one that we had for Elaine Burton, who won this last time. It is a dustpan ring pour onto a 24 by 24 inch canvas. It is framed. And if I can take this a little closer, what you can see is a proprietary mix of toppings on this one underneath a resin finish or on top of a resin finish, I should say. So it sparkles like a, like I don't know what, um, but it's particularly beautiful. It's got some really awesome composition on this one. And it's a sister piece to the one that Elaine Burton won before. Yes. Now, if you pledge more than $10 worth of a super chat or a super sticker on that day, your name will go in the hat twice. Anything less than that goes in there once. And at the end of the episode, we'll draw a name out. And then this piece will be immediately shipped out to that person. Yeah. And we will cover the shipping. So um, not one cost to you other than your super chats or your super stickers on that day. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun, people. That's this coming Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Just like that. <laughs> um, back to this episode. I had a lot of fun with that triple straight pour kissing cups. So I'm going to do it again, but try and do a slightly different composition. Oh, nice. Yeah. Last time I was trying to get all of the streams to mix, and we got two of them mixing and one of one them is, separate. Yeah, kind of separate. Mm -hmm. So it kind of created these two central pieces. This yeah. time, I want to keep all three of them separate. Okay. And see what that does to the to the actual composition. Okay, so that that's sounds good. My plan, with your help, clearly, because you do need three arms for this one. Um, what are you going to do? I think I'm going to just follow suit and do a straight board. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use the same colors. I want to see what happens with using the same colors, just doing a straight pour out okay. of it. A Rather than straight pour, kissing cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. You don't do a lot of straight pours. I do not. So I do not is, do a lot of straight pours. This is going to be really interesting to yes, see. absolutely. How you see how you layer, see how you pour, see how you tilt. Yep. All right. So there you have it, folks. Now you know what's going on in today's episode. We hope that you enjoy. Um, nothing else to tell you other than... Let's go meet you at the table. Well, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Oh, that's right. Please do that too. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the table. All right, let's get to the table. Bye. Hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. It's Lee at the table. Um, thank you for joining me here. As you will have just heard in the intro, I am going to play around with this three cup straight pour kiss again. Um, we tried it here on the channel last time, a couple of times ago, last time maybe, and um, got a really, really, really fun composition. I want to just play around with how we get those colours onto the canvas. So um, one of the beauties of having a studio hubby or a show pony around is that I've got an extra arm and he's going to help me pour these three cups onto the canvas. So it's a collaboration, I yep. guess, as we speak. Yep, a show pony collab. A show pony collab. I love it. Um, show pony has picked out some wonderful, wonderful colours. Let me tell you what they are. So we have metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft. Love. Pearl glacier blue, blue by Arteza. Love. Then we have Golden's Quinacridone Burn Orange and Golden's Quinacridone Nickel Azul Gold, which have been mixed together. So these, these two have been cocktailed together. I'll show you those when we get to pouring them into the cup. We have Payne's Grey by Golden. 
love that one. Yeah, this is gorgeous. We have Amsterdam Titanium White to which I've added a little bit of satin enamels. Now that's Deco Arts satin enamels. And then we have Sap Green by Amsterdam to which the show pony is added Deco Arts Jedite. It made this beautiful luscious green color. Like a, definitely like a real kind of foresty, yeah. but it's very shimmery and sparkly. Yeah. And with this Deco Art Jedi, we've also thrown in Deco Art Metallics and we've also got Deco Art Satin Enamels. So three Deco Art colors in today's pour. If you want to get your hands on these, please follow the link in the description box. We are now Deco Art Affiliates, and um, mainly because we just love all their products. Right. And I think we use at least one Deco Art in every single pour <laughs> that we ever do. And it's normally this bad boy, the 24 karat gold, yeah. or satin enamels. Um, but we're also going to be doing some really fun stuff with Deco Art coming up. Yeah. So please keep your eyes out for that, because there's going to be some fun um, collaborations with Deco Art. There is a Deco Art Instagram page where we can actually, all of us, post our art where there is Deco Art included in it. It doesn't have to be exclusively. And um, yeah, it's a really fun page for mm. fluid artists. So I will link that information right down below. Well, it's probably up here down below um, so that you guys can see that too. So if you create art using Deco Art's products, please go and put that when you uh, display it on Instagram. You can use their hashtags and they'll get to see it too. Nice. Yeah, so um, I'll put more information down here at the bottom somewhere just in case I got all that wrong. Um, anyway, so on this 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas, which the show pony has taped and backed for me, and I think he's even sprayed it. Did yes, you spray these ones, show sure pony? Did. It's tight like drum. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, I've got three cups. Now we've calculated that this canvas can hold about 14, 15 ounces of paint, 20 by 20, divided by 28. These are nine ounce cups. So I'm going to not fill these all the way up to the way, but I'm gonna get a decent amount of paint in these cups, and then we're gonna kiss them onto this canvas. Now I'm gonna just pour one of these, um, otherwise we'll be here for 24 hours. Um, <laughs> but I am going to lay them all differently, and the bottom of the cup, will probably be what is very different. I've got this beautiful Prussian, uh, sorry, Payne's Grey, got that beautiful orange, which is those two quinacridones mixed, and then that really wonderful green, which is the sap green and deco art. I'm gonna put those at the bottom of the cups, so those will be the three colors that'll come out at the end. So I'm gonna just do one for you right here, show pony, if I may. Mm -hmm. I am going to start each of these cups though with a very small amount of a white and a very small amount of gold. But in this one, I'm gonna put the Payne's Gray. A slightly thicker layer. And go back in with a little layer of white. And then this wonderful cobalt blue. And then I'm just gonna start going kind of kind of light and dark, light and dark is the plan. Christmas in a cup. It's so pretty. I'm loving that green. All right, that is one cup down. Now I'm going to layer two more. I'm just going to do those off camera. So, what have I done? Okay, so I've got my three cups now poured, these two and the one the show pony is handling, and I've actually put a base coat down on my canvas. Now, this is the white that has a little bit of satin enamels mixed in it too, mm. yeah? Um, so next is just to get these three cups onto the canvas. Now, show pony and, I, show pony and I have talked about this. So, whereas last time I was trying to get at least all of the 
streams to meet in the middle. This time I'm not. This time I'm going to get them kissing on the canvas. So I kind of, I'm trying to get three distinct middle compositions. Yeah. It's kind of what I'm hoping for, we'll see. But then I do want to try it where we try and get all three of the streams to touch because I felt like in the last one we did, we only got two. Yeah. You know? Um, but let's do this show pony. Um, I'm going to go and we're going to still try and pour in the middle, same height, a little bit closer to the canvas if you don't. Oh, okay, you're going for oh, it. Oh, whoops, sorry. It's all right, let's go. That's really cool. Huh. That is really cool. I definitely messed up at the very, very end. I kind of dribbled all my composition over into the other composition, but I'm okay with that. We're going to just see how this looks when I stretch it out. Or do I want to try and fix this beforehand? Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm going to try and fix some right of there. it first. Thank you, Show Pony, for the assist. I love... You caught yours perfectly. It's just hard, I can't catch mine when yeah, I got two, two cups hands. in. Exactly. But I'm going to just try and fix this line. Not worrying too much about it. Let's just try to blend it in just a little yeah. bit. You see what I did there? Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, I've got to say, it's looking wonderful on the canvas. Um, but what I'm now going to do is just torch this one off. Super, super excited about this. I'm going to try and keep as much of this on the canvas as I can, whilst making sure that I haven't got too much paint on here. Um, I'll probably put this one down a couple of times just to torch it off and just let those colours just percolate. What do you think, Show Pony? I'm, I'm in love with it already. Okay, I shall just leave it like that. No, are you definitely so there you have it. Oh, no, okay. All right, <laughs> let, let's let's tilt this one out. Okay, doing some stretches, doing some bends. Let's, let's get to this.
looking for guidance I can be the hand you reach out. Baby, you can lay all onto my shoulders I carry all of your fears mm. And I can dry your tears I, I am done ha I really love this guys I'm really really enjoying kind of playing around with this triple kind of you know straight kissing pour onto the canvas like this time that you've got three kind of you know central ish compositions from the three cups and I layered them very differently as you can see um, I, I actually really enjoy this bit it looks like a lettuce so this one's going to be called Lettuce Entertain You, for sure. Um, but I really love how the composition came out. I, I kind of like the fact that you can see three distinct pores on here, but they're still very harmonious because of the colour scheme. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Really happy with this. So I've just torched it again. I'm going to scrape my edges and then I'm going to take you in for a close up. Thank you, guys. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm super excited about today's pour. And I'm gonna be doing a straight pour because I got inspired so much by Lee's piece. Huh. I thought I would use the same colors huh. and show you how different a composition can come out from using the same colors. And especially because you're gonna layer it very differently. I'm gonna than layer it very differently. Okay, and you're just doing one straight pour. I'm doing comes. one straight pour. Huh. Okay, I like yes. that. It's almost yeah. like a who did it better. Right? But not. But not. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> so you've got the same your same size canvas also. Yeah, I got a 20 by 20. It's okay. been taped and pinned on the back. Right. I sprayed the back of it with water, so it is tight like drum. Tight like drum. And uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm excited too. So, it's not often you do a straight pour, sir, so I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I thought that you were gonna do a dirty pour ring because that's the the challenge that you set for the Patreons. It is. Uh -huh, but, I'm, but I'm interested to see what happens yeah. with this straight pour. We're going to do that next time. Okay. So, okay, so I'm going to get to layer my cup. Do it. I'm going to start with a little bit of white at the bottom of my cup. Just like I did. Yep. On all those three bad boys. Yep. I'm going to do a little bit of gold. Just like you did. I'm gonna keep it really light though. Really, really light. And then now, I think I'm gonna go paints gray. Okay. But from here, I'm gonna go with light. A wonderful quinacridone mix. I know. It was so, it was so gorgeous. Yeah, it was so cool in the piece that we just did because it was kind of like popping up everywhere. I love the addition of the jadeite in that green. Right? It was great. Gold. 
Yeah, that's enough gold. Well, maybe just a touch more. Cobalt, which is gorgeous. I'm going to go back to some of the Payne's Gray. Yeah, that was enough. A little bit of white. I think I'm going to go. I'm not going to do gold again, actually. I think I'm going to do green. back in with the Nico Azul gold. Such a gold. Just as a barrier layer. <clears throat> and then I think I'm gonna go with this one. That's my cup. It's full. It's full to brim. Love it. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do now is now that I have my cup, my luscious cup here, I'm going to go ahead and do a straight pour, and then I'm going to use my my uh, my white paint as my flow my flow extender mm -hmm. around the composition. So let's get to doing this. Okay guys, so I got my composition down on here and mm -hmm. wow, I'm really excited about this. Mm -hmm. um, but something that I just did was I made, or Lee made, this we made. delicious, I'm gonna pull this right here and be really careful, this delicious like greeny blue color right here. And we mix the cobalt blue, uh -huh. metallic cobalt blue, yep. and we mix that green, that sap green with that Jadeite. Uh, Jadeite mix mm -hmm. in it. And a little bit of white. And a little bit of white. And it just came out to this lovely, just gorgeous color. Now, so, it, it was okay to change your mind, show pony, but why did you change your mind from because white? Because I thought maybe um, adding a little bit of negative space. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I think it's a we'll good see. idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're going to flood this now with a flow extender? Yes. Yes, I am. guys it has been sitting here and there's cells galore i can't wait to stretch this thing out so you know what time it is what time is it it's tilting time i don't think we actually knew what time it was on my piece <gasps> we didn't even say that did i don't we? think we did we did not how rude of us I okay know. it is it's tilting time let's it tilt this back out. out let's tilt it out
making every turn I've been on the road since I was five Sitting by my father For a million miles Picking up old stories on the right I've been counting shots Holy fingerlings, Batman! <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I am so excited about this. Um, may I pronounce that this could possibly be your very best straight pull that I've seen you do? Thank you. Because I know you don't do a lot of them, but I really, I really love this one. It's, it's pretty gosh darn stunning. There's so many beautiful parts to this. I love like this dark Payne's gray with this beautiful mm -hmm. like quinacridone, mm -hmm. burnt orange, mm -hmm. indigo, azo gold. And like, I love it. Just kind of like, lights up like it's literally like glowing in the center and right. stuff uh it's, yeah i'm just blown away by this now we talked about having an aesthetically pleasing composition and yes. giving your eye a chance to rest somewhere yeah well what your piece absolutely does is gives you a chance to the eye to rest in both that quinacridone section down in the bottom yeah and also the pain's gray here so i think yeah, it's a here. huge success thank you i really really love this one well done yeah. show Pony. thank you i'm in love with this mm -hmm. i hope you guys like it too can't wait to uh, read your comments on it and, and hear what you say about it right um so i'm gonna go ahead and get my edges and take you guys in for a close-up there's a craft stick for you sir let's do thank it thank you very much you're welcome <laughs> So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Wow, there's so much to say about this one. Oh my gosh. Very, very, very happy, very excited. Yes. Let's start with your paw. Oh, thanks, okay. Loved it. Loved it. I said on camera, I'll say it again. I said it off camera, I'll say it again. Probably your best straight paw. Oh, thank you mm. very much. Loved yeah, it. I really, really loved it. I loved the colors that were chosen. I loved how they worked together. I loved all the fingerlings and like, 
the cells and I mean just a lot happening on that one. But what I loved particularly about your composition mm. was that quinacridone cocktail and then the paints grey yeah. kind of sections that allowed your eye to rest because we talked about this in our last episode on we Friday. Did. We did. Where you know that there are is there is a school of thought that says yeah. that there's a, you know a certain way that a piece of art should be in order for it to be as aesthetically pleasing as possible. One of those somewhere for your eye to rest and, and I thought that was stunning. Thank you. I really loved it. I really enjoyed the triple kissing cups. I really liked it. Those cups were kissing, but the streams were not this yes. time. And um, I managed to keep those three central compositions, mm -hmm. which I really loved, and really enjoyed tilting this one out. It Thank was beautiful. You. Thank you. Again, very chaotic, um, but I'm enjoying that about this technique. And I'm going to do it again. I'm wondering how it would look on a bigger canvas with some negative space. That's a really interesting thought, something huh. that we could definitely play around with. But I also want to now try and get us mixing all three streams. Got it. So it's, it's a challenge because you've got two people and like there's two, you know, sets, three sets of hands, you know, yeah. trying to pour. But that's going to be our next challenge. So I want your help again, but I want to mix those streams together so the three cups will all collide. Nice. Hmm. And we'll see what happens on that one. Um, again, quick note, this coming Sunday, is the Super Chat Super Sticker giveaway for this wonderful, beautiful piece of art, which will be delivered to you just in time for Christmas. We will get this one out next week. It will be sent by UPS and we will pay for it. So we'll make sure that that gets to you very quickly. Um, please come and see us pour on Sunday, but more importantly, any Super Chats or Super Stickers that are given on that day will be entered into a raffle. raffle. You'll be entered into a raffle and then you can win that piece. Yes. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Coming up very, very soon, it's going to be the start of the 12 Paws of Christmas. Yes. With Mina Villegas and Sarah Mack and ourselves. I'm going to take it in turns to count you down all the way to the 24th of December. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> so please come back and watch that with us. But we'll be here on Friday for another normal episode. Awesome. Yeah. Guys, have a great week. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, we'll see you back here on Friday at 7 p.m. Central for another episode. Yeah. We'll see you then. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage, lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massey Art Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the Platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the Platinum Patreons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Ah, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepperson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... Hey, you all know her lover. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. <laughs> Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studios. Absolutely. Thank you guys.